Okay, well here we are back again on the Sony CCD V701 8mm camcorder, actually a high 8 camcorder from the early 90s, I do believe. And this is the result of the board after it has been washed in the dishwasher. Go ahead and take a look at that. That was the worst capacitor right there that the uh, solder had turned black on. And I just wanted to show you a quick representation of the board after it had been washed. Uh, let's go ahead and try to find a couple of those that had uh, the leaded electrolytic, the radio capacitors that were leaking all over the board. Look at that, looks absolutely perfect. No electrolyte whatsoever. So as you remember in the previous episode, I did go ahead and scrub this with a paintbrush. I meant to use a toothbrush, but I used the paintbrush. It was much more efficient. And then I washed the whole board in the dishwasher. So uh, this being part 4.2, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the solder pads or the solder leads off of the board as I fatigued the leads and took the caps off of the board. And I don't really see any damage, I hope. Remember, there's a big leaded electrolytic right there, radio leaded. Uh, everything looks pretty doggone good as far as I can tell. Not really seeing any plate through damage to speak of. Hopefully there is none. And we can get this thing back on the road for this customer. Once again, been waiting way too long on this thing because of uh, the accident and whatnot. But the board actually looks pretty good. I've got it in the macro zoom, so it's really zoomed up close right now. Cat hair on the board. Yes, I have cats. So that is to be expected. Uh, there's a big ground plane. Wow, look at that. Uh, board looks good. I like it. I'm sure somebody's going to find something. And if you do, please go ahead and message me on the, uh, well, just on YouTube. Just leave me a comment in case I missed something. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get back over to that one leaded cap. I'm going to turn this thing sideways so I can get access to it. I've got some solder right here and I'm just going to go ahead and add solder and try to scrape these off of the board. Hopefully they will cooperate. This one's probably going to be the worst one. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and vacuum the solder off of it and then we'll probably clean it with acetone once everything is said and done. So it's going to be a pretty lengthy process to go ahead and clean all of these pads. Usually they're pretty straightforward just like that. Just wipe them off and then I'll vacuum it up once everything is said and done. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this back out. And I do have the board on a rubber mat so that um, I can actually apply a little bit of pressure to it and it's not going to do any damage to the board. Okay, um, yeah, let's get started. I'll speed this thing up once everything is said and done. And uh, that's where we are at this moment in time.
Okay, well hopefully I didn't miss any there. And I'm sure some eagle-eyed commenter will let me know if I did. And I really do appreciate it if you do. Um, little solder bridge there. So I think the next step is to go ahead and get the hacko. It's turned on now. It's warming up. It'll take about a minute. And I'll just go ahead and vacuum all of the solder off. What's that? 308. Looks like there's still a pad stuck there. And I got it. Very good. Just go ahead and vacuum all these pads off. And the reason I don't just vacuum up the leads is they tend to get stuck in the tip of the solder sucker. Oh, C871. Missed that one. I'm going to turn it around so I get a better angle on it here. There it is. There we go. And like I said, I'll probably go ahead and scrub the board one more time. Maybe even wash it again in the dishwasher. But I just want to make sure that I've got most of the pads removed from this board. And I think I do. Chances are I missed one here or there, which is normal when you're dealing with so many solder pads. But I'm pretty happy with the results after it came out of the dishwasher and after blowing it dry and baking it for a little bit. I think it came out pretty doggone good. So there's a rogue pad right here next to C154. Let's see if I can catch it. I have to add some more solder. Okay, got it. That does happen sometimes. A single pad wants to make it away. So does it look like C318 still has a pad stuck on it? To me it does. And maybe not. I think, well, if it... And I think it is stuck on the tip of the soldering iron. So I think I got it. And yes, I am cleaning my tip multiple times. Uh, there it is. It just tends up really fast or oxidizes really fast. Um, I do use 800 degrees. I know uh, some of the commenters are going to be like, no, you need to use like 650. Well, I've been using 800 for years. And it works really, really good for me at least. Maybe not for somebody else, but for me, it really does work good. Okay, well, the next step is going to be just vacuuming all the solder off of these pads in preparation for new capacitor installation. So probably not going to see too much because of the angle of the board, but I'll zoom it out just a little bit. And I think I will pump up the exposure by maybe a stop or so. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to time lapse. Oops, sorry if I bumped the microphone and you got a loud sound in your headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this, probably uh, five times normal speed, removing the solder from the solder pads.
Okay, well, I think, and I use think in quotation marks, that I've got most of them or all of them at this point, and nope, I did not. There's two I missed right there. Wow. So let's turn this thing around so I can actually get to it. I'm telling you what, these things are hard to see when they're on the board. Okay, so I think I've got most of them at this point. Now, some of these were unpopulated. There's a pad that actually stuck on there through the dishwasher and the scrubbing and everything. So I think it looks pretty good, maybe. I'm just going to have to repopulate everything and see what happens on part 4.3 because this is part 4.2. Uh, another one right there. Wow, really right now? Right there, C664. Let's bring this around where I can get a good grip on it. And now I lost it. There it is, wow. I mean, this is a small board. And of course the, the pads do not want to cooperate really right now. Sometimes you got to add a bit of solder. There we go. And we'll vacuum that off. Actually, easier to see this in the monitor on the camera. And what is that on C832? Okay, got it actually easier to see them on the monitor than it is in real life because they're so freaking small. And another one I missed right there, C783, I guess it is, 783, right by these two pots. Okay, good with that. So I think Unless I see anything else standing out. And maybe one of you, like I said, Eagle Eye Troubleshooter commenters will let me know. Uh, if you find something, shoot me. Uh, just put the time in the description with the colon. And it will highlight the time. And then I will go to that time and look at the video. So if you leave a comment and you say like, 14 colon 38, so 14 minutes and 38 seconds you missed one on, let's just say it is uh, C318 right there. Um, I'll go back and look at that exact time. Now C042, which is right there, I accidentally applied solder to one side, so that was unpopulated. You can see the other side is still virgin, hasn't been touched. And I think that might be the only one I actually screwed up on and added solder to the unpopulated pad. Uh, oh, C106, hiding underneath this lead. I wonder why they put the leads on there. They must have forgotten. Needed an extra ground, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, that one's a mess. Yeah, I definitely have to scrub this with acetone uh, before we go too terribly much farther. And I really don't like the way that the top pad on C106 looks, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a bunch of fresh solder, and I'll reflow it across both of them, and then we'll re-suck that solder off of there. And I certainly like that a lot better. Okay, well, I think that's going to be the end of part four point, is it two? Yeah, 4.1 was removing the caps and washing in the dishwasher. This is part 4.2, and then part 4.3 will be installing 
all of the capacitors. So I certainly hope you enjoyed the progression of the Sony CCD V701 camcorder. It's coming along slowly but surely. And hopefully we will have a solid fix on this unit when it's all said and done. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I think I'll skip on the email and everything. Everyone knows how to contact me. And I'll leave the... Uh, it's not patented, but it should be. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, thank you for making it to the end of this portion of the repair video on the CCD V701 camcorder from the 90s. Everyone, have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Everyone, have a great day. Bye-bye.